About 20 miles south of Scott's Bluff, sun's just coming up. We're on a day trip in the pickup. Miss Linda, she's steering. side of the Wildcat Hills headed towards Scotts Bluff during Nebraska. You can see off there in the distance. It's like a little haze in the valley this morning. Sun's been coming out and melting the snow slowly. It's a little humidity in the air. Down into the Pot River Valley. Wildcat Hills hard to distinguish with the ground fog and everything, but down below, Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Off to the left over here, that's Scotts Bluff National Monument. Marker on the Oregon Trail, people headed west, coming up the Platte River. That was a landmark for them. Another view of Scotts Bluff National Monument at sunrise. We're getting ready to uh, Take a turn towards Scotts Bluff. The road uh, bends up here. Straight ahead takes you into Geary, sister city of the town of Scotts Bluff. There's a monument that Scotts Bluff was named after. Scotts Bluff National Monument from the east. Coming into Scotts Bluff. There's a shot of Scotts Bluff National Monument looking over the Hershberger's building. We're in the northeast corner of Scotts Bluff right here. Almost straight ahead, but just off to the left is Chimney Rock. Another landmark along the Oregon Trail and the North Platte River. Okay, there's Chimney Rock up there. This was a landmark for the Westward Ho Pioneers. Yeah, so it's not quite as predominant as it once was, I suppose. But it's kind of hard to see through the trees, but every so often it pumps itself back out there. Watching those fence posts goodbye. 